I haven't watched this video yet, but just based on what the quote says here, once upon a time, by the way, the only place that you could see people that were that large were at a circus. So, I mean, Candace Owens is criticizing Lizzo. She is a uh, pop singer. Um, this, it's not necessarily substantive, right? There's no political point that I can really dissect here. But what this demonstrates beyond a shadow of a doubt, I think, is just how unnecessarily cruel conservatives are. It's so gross that you speak about other human beings this way oh well because lizzo is overweight i mean the only time you'd see people like that is at a circus why like why do this look i'm not a i'm not a fan of lizzo's music in particular um i think she's fine i think she's talented but it's just not necessarily like my genre of choice i'm not a big fan of pop music but why would you say this about her i mean think about the people in your life who may be overweight think about them hearing you say this Oh, so you think that I should be at a circus? I mean, they're just, they have no regard for how they come off to people. They're just so cruel. And that's reflected in their political ideology where they just want to inflict pain on people. They want to subjugate uh, women and trans people to second class citizenship status. They want to cut people off of welfare benefits. It's nothing but making people suffer. Oh, what's that? Joe Biden canceled a measly $10,000 of student debt. We should stop him from doing that. Like their whole ethos is inflicting pain and suffering while pretending as if they have the moral high ground because they believe in God. No, I'm sorry. It, this right here shows that just because you're religious doesn't mean that you are more morally pure than all of us. In fact, I'd argue that theocrats and evangelicals are substantially more morally bankrupt than the average person, right? So uh, let's get to this here. I grew up without seeing clinical obese people on TV because it's not normal, right? I cannot stress this enough. I like- What? Okay. I don't know what she's talking about because I grew up seeing clinically obese people on TV and I didn't really think anything about it. Like one of my um, childhood favorite movies, which I haven't watched in a while, is Heavyweights, where it was about a bunch of overweight children that go to- a camp for over overweight kids and whatnot. I mean, that movie was very popular. It features Ben Stiller, huge actor. So she's pretending as if that wasn't a thing. Like her and I are basically the same age. Yes, you did. You're lying. And, and obese people exist. Should we hide them away from the public? Like, I just don't understand what the expectation is. Like they want to hide trans people away from the public. They want to hide obese people away from the public. What benefit does this have? Like, what, what do you think is going to change about society if you pretend as if obese people don't exist will your, will your kids not grow up to be obese like i just i don't get it lizzo's music i think lizzo is a talented person it is sad to me that she's in a room of people that apparently hate her that keep applauding and celebrating her every effort to die right obesity is the number one killer in the united states heart disease that comes from obesity is the number one killer in the United States. Okay. So by just simply being in a room with Lizzo, you are, according to Candace Owens, effectively saying that she should just die because she's obese. I, 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 don't, I don't know how you get from point A to point B in this instance. Is Lizzo saying, hey, everyone, I think all of you should be obese. And if you're not obese, you're inferior. Being obese is healthy. Is she saying that? I've never heard her say that. She's just being herself. You can be comfortable in your own skin, believe it or not, even if you're obese. But she's not saying, I think that you should eat unhealthy and be obese and not exercise. That's not what's happening. She just is obese. Like, she's not inherently making a political statement by being obese. You can, <laughs> you can just exist as you are without making a statement. Like, trans people, believe it or not... They're not making a political statement by being trans. Some people just are. And hiding them away doesn't make them any less real. So, I, like, I don't get what she's trying to say here. If Lizzo were saying, you all need to eat unhealthy, you need to be obese, get obese right now, I, I could understand taking issue with that because we don't want to promote any dangerous lifestyles, right? But there are people who are obese. There are people who exist that are different from you. 
that's fine. Like, you shouldn't be ashamed about it. You shouldn't make it seem as if obese people are inferior to you because you're not obese. Like, I just, I, I guess I, I don't get the expectation from her. She genuinely just wants people to be hidden from the public if they're not, like, perfect. Why do, do smokers and them being in a room with other people, why are they not sending the same message that Lizzo sends or perhaps like a similar message that hey you should lead this unhealthy lifestyle why is it only you know lizzo like, it's just so weird she's standing in a room and people are applauding her i just wanted to see people fat like me once upon a time did by she the say way, that though the only place that you could see people that were that large were at a circus you had to actually go to a circus to observe people that were that clinically obese right now you have lizzo that is looking around and saying i got yeah maybe like we shouldn't otherize people and treat them as if they're like oddities to be laughed at. Jesus, what a what a horrible thing to say. You can't see these people on television because you shouldn't see these kinds of people on television. We should not normalize seeing people that are harming themselves every single day. Go to a store. Have you not been to a Walmart or any grocery store? We live in the United States of America, okay? People are poor, they don't have money or time to cook healthy, or they don't have the wherewithal or knowledge to, you know, cook in a way that is conducive to a healthier lifestyle. Like, you're not going to hide obese people out of from existence. Like, if you're trying to shield your kids and their innocent eyes from obese people, it's not going to happen. Every single person knows somebody who's obese. Every single person. So for her to say this, what a slap in the face to people who she loves who, you know, are probably obese. Going closer and closer to death because of clinical obese. If Lizzo's fans loved her, if Lizzo's fans appreciated her, if Lizzo was in a room of people who actually wanted her to be around longer, they would tell her, Lizzo, I am so proud of all of the success that you have found in life. But girl, it is now time to lose weight. You now have the money and the resources to lose weight. Okay, so you can only love Lizzo if every single time you see her, you berate her for being obese. I hate to say this to you, but if you talk to anyone who is obese or was previously obese, they will tell you the same thing, that just like shaming them does not work. Shaming is not an effective tactic for anyone. Uh, and I should know, I've tried to hound my mom, for example, to quit smoking for decades, and it hasn't worked. Losing weight is very, very difficult, and you can lose weight, but there are other factors that make it really difficult. Like, some people are on medications that make them balloon up. I was on, um, you know, uh, I can't remember, maybe it was Paxil or something like that, um, and I gained, like, 30 pounds. Um, it took me for ever to lose that weight so it's difficult if you see somebody who's obese that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not trying to lose weight perhaps somebody is overweight but they dropped 100 pounds like just here here's the main takeaway right just stop trying to be a busybody mind your own fucking business and just have a base level of respect for people okay don't just automatically assume that an obese person is going to be like oh hey i think you should be like me they're like Odds are, like, they're trying to work on themselves. We're all trying to work on ourselves. Just, like, try to be understanding. And most importantly, don't be a piece of shit. Like, don't compare obese people to circus freaks to be laughed at and pointed at. Like, don't do that. But this is what conservatives do. They think that they are better than everyone. And anyone else who is not perfect like them are to be laughed at, are to be hidden away from society so as not to upset the Puritans and the perfect people in society. Well, no. We're all imperfect as human beings and hiding obese people away from the public isn't going to make their existence any less real. So shut up, Candace Owens. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Woke moralists. Woke moralists. Woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. 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 Way.